Welcome to the Dropping a Coil show. I'm Flash, and today we've got Larry Woods back and Rob Works to uh, entertain you in the electronic world. Yeah, thanks a lot to Grimner for giving us the little place to come out here and do the, all these crazy things we get into. And if you're in a chatty mood in the RLM, we have chatters, bots, and bodies for all of you. Barman, Beetle, Grimner, Moose Girl, Kate, Anti, Chelsea, Doni, Chloe, Dan Van Meter, me, Frumpy Weck, Frumpy Work, Graham Z, Java Doctor, Two J's, Nine J's. Heard he was feeling ill. I hope he's okay. Uh, Prince, Rob Works, Trust No One Twice, Van Meter, Vanna White, W4DKV, Weather Dork, The Phantom, CC66, Chloe, Cyborg, Noodle, and Siv, Frumpy, Guest, 13786, Lurky, The Third, Matt, WJ2002, Pone Sauce, Smart Ass, The Holiest Roger, and Zpix. And I think today's show has been titled, This Is How You Drop a Coil. And Larry's going to explain what that means. Right, Rob? Yes, sir. Good afternoon, Larry. Hi, Rob. Sorry about yesterday. I, uh, no, I totally exciting. understand. You got Things here with an been really <laughs> popping. Tell us all about it. Okay. Um, this past week, we, uh, right after the R&D meeting, we got together and figured out how to wire all of these coils together to make this wonderful thing happen. Uh, we no sooner got through with a new wiring diagram for four coils, all wired together in a special way, uh, to replace all the electronic parts, to give them power without any moving parts, uh, and to create three-phase power. So we figured that out. And within five minutes after I got off that call, we got another call from our financial lady in the, in the group. And she says, I've got this guy that wants to talk to you because he's got a project that you might be interested in. So, of course, we said yes. All right. Uh, and it turned out to be a 15,000-acre solar farm in the middle of the jungle. And I'm sort of a nature lover, and I don't want trees to be cut down. So the first thing that I did was explain to him that a solar panel takes 300% more energy to produce the panel than it puts out in its entire lifetime, and that when that solar panel goes bad, then it's hazardous waste. Right. So he said, well, yeah, but it'll take a long time for them to go bad, and I'll get to that part in a little bit. Uh, we went on and explained to him how we could put up one light pole with four coils on the top of it that would power two houses. He said, well, that's okay. And then we went on to say, once we get six houses, that gives you the power available for a three-phase system. So that's a small business. He says, well, that's kind of nice. And then we went on that once you get a community set up, a small community of, say, a thousand people, a thousand homes, then that gives you enough for medium-sized industry for free. And he said, well, that's kind of nice. And then we said, when that industry, when that medium-sized industry gets set up, that gives you enough extra power to power large industry. 
And he says, it's getting better. And then we said, your whole deal is to export power, and that's why he wants a solar farm. But all the communities that you're setting up around them are going to drain the power from that solar farm, and you're going to constantly be beaten back to jungle. And 15,000 acres is a lot of jungle to beat back and a lot of expense for the, the help that you got to pay. Right. He says, yeah. So then we said, how about if you start your solar project with just, say, a thousand solar panels, and then let us come in and retrofit your entire community so that you can do away with the solar panels as they die. And he says, well, it normally takes about 25 years for a solar panel to die. And he's already in the solar farm business. So I said, didn't you just have a huge EM pulse in your part of the world? And he said, yeah. And I said, didn't that kill all the electronics in all your solar farms? And he said, yeah, we're replacing that now. I said, well, how would you like to be impervious to an EM pulse? And his eyes lit up with dollar signs. <laughs> no doubt. Yeah, because he's spending millions of dollars to refit all the solar farms as it is. Right. So we went on to explain the system to him. You put like what I just told you. And uh, we got a little bit deeper into it. And we said, you know, we can give you an electric trolley car that will take your people back and forth to work. And he said, well, that would be kind of nice. I said, well... Yeah, but what this trolley car will be doing will be putting power back into your system so that you'll have more power to export. And we've already taken all your houses off your system so you can export that power. He says, it's looking better. And then we got into what it could really do for him. Yeah. Well, their whole deal is they want to set up this solar farm so that they can export power to the local countries. Right. Not just their own, but everybody else. Yeah. Neighbors. So, yeah. So I said, well, okay. We've already gone over the low residential cost for power because that's just a matter of maintaining the equipment, which is very low maintenance. And the low cost for your industrial power, that's just setting it up. And the resale of your power to other utility companies around at low maintenance. He said, yeah, that's good. I said, well, what are you doing about your transmission lines? And he says, well, those are all 72,000 volt transmission lines. And I said, how would you like to do it with two watt wire? He says, you can't transmit that much power with two watt wire. He's an electrical engineer. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Did we lose Larry? What yeah. happened here? I think we may have lost Larry. It says three on a call. So Larry, Larry might did you hit something. your mute button accidentally? Or the Internet's messing with us. They don't like this information. Okay. Well, we have a momentary lapse in the story because Larry was abducted by aliens. <clears throat> Hey, we can do H.G. Wells, part two. Well, while Rob frantically looks for an answer to the problem, <laughs> I don't know what to say. This, Yeah, this is kind of hard. Yeah, yeah I suppose he's still here. I was listening to him, and then boom, yeah, he just cut, cut it out. off. Yeah, but we've been having Internet troubles all of us. Well, he should be able to read that. Right. No, okay, there he got booted. He All just right. dropped off. He's probably okay. trying to read. He'll be that. back. But that that tells you now you got an answer. Now we just saw <clears throat> so Larry Woods returns, and I think Grim can uh, edit this out for us if we ask him really nice the dead air part. Oh yeah, I can edit it out. Um, 
Well, there you go. Then there's no problem. Uh, we'll just kill a few minutes. Yeah. Uh, until uh, Larry, Larry yeah. returns and such. And we'll be back. Okay. With tales of electronics and such. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is pretty well, strange stuff but for us. For me, anyway. Yeah, that's uh, very interesting. Um, well, it's like watching a sci-fi movie, but it's not a movie. Right. Because all the stuff that Larry talks about is in all these old movies. You know, in ways. Well, the, the, the technology he's got, it can, it's right like there. I said, literally uh, make space travel possible. I don't know enough about it to, I mean, to come to that decision. It makes, it makes, it solves so many problems of the world. Uh, it's I thought they already went to the moon. And unfathomable. I want to be unfathomable. Unfathomable. Hmm. Okay, come on. Oh, right, it Larry. looks like Larry's deep in a reboot at this point. Probably, yeah. He's, he, yeah. yeah. Talk about frantically yeah. trying to figure it out. Um, he's like me, you know. You, you go with what you know, and if pushing the button doesn't work, reboot the whole fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Send the bill to Trump. Yeah. <laughs> it's cheaper Probably. than digging your foot out of the CD-ROM. <laughs> <laughs> wow, how come your stereo plays so bad? Right. I kick things. Oh, I don't kick anything. You don't. No, not really. Maybe years ago, but now I'm older now. Now I'm lazy. Now I just want Larry to get back and finish telling me what he's doing. Come on, What's going day. on here? Yeah. Or maybe he got that important phone call and took president. It could be. You, but he wouldn't have. No, he just cut out. He would have said that. We would have heard his phone ringing, actually. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, something. that's right. Deep and reboot. Well, I'm being like, what's his name? Uh. <clears throat> is his name the cop Columbo I'm uh, looking at all the possibilities man uh -huh. did you ever notice how many laws that fucking guy breaks to catch a killer no oh I studied I never that watched that show <laughs> that was great it was a beautiful way of I have always hated cop shows yeah but it was, see that's what I mean it was a beautiful way of letting the police intrude into your life for your own good and deceive mm -hmm. you and lie to you. Well, the best thing came from it. I've always heard of cops and therefore cop shows. Ah, they're just people trying to make money. Don't get your mm -hmm. knickers in the tool. Mercenaries. Well, although now that's a little bit. Yeah, they've evolved into something deeper, huh? See, when I was coming up, being a teenager and whatnot, they were just trying to make a few extra bucks or get some free weed or something. They weren't here's how heavily... You, here's how you know if they're a mercenary. If you take away their paycheck yeah. and they refuse to keep doing it, they're a mercenary. Oh. Cool. Well, we're living in a time where it doesn't matter what you call it. Mm. <clears throat> Very few that are not mercenaries. Well, yeah, they're see, there because they actually believe in what they're doing and, and, and fighting for something. You know. Hey, speaking of that, did you see that link Grim put up on RLO about the doctors? Uh, maybe. Okay, because the way you hate the police, and Grim, I hate doctors. My my yeah, beef is with I, the medical, I, not the police. I uh. Oh, well, he put up this. I have the put same. Up this link about the doctors coming forward. So there's good doctors out there, but I'm always yeah. afraid to medical. Always nasty. Oh, yeah. I never say good shit. Frontline doctors. Yeah. yeah, I have to eat my fucking hat and say, well, except for these guys. Because <laughs> they're telling the truth. So, wow. Yeah. Well, like most people, they're, they're, they've been fed a line and they swallowed it. I don't know if so much if these people... Swallowed anything. Well, not necessarily. Well, well, even those people, we're all uh, following a program. Even oh, yeah. You, you know? You got I, rules. Rules, rules, rules. Yeah. So, well, damn. Come on, Larry. 
Everybody's you know, been like, made. Like when, connection vibes. <laughs> when you guys say, fuck the Democrats, and I go, I, I got to go ask my wife. She always says no. Yeah. I can't go fuck the Democrats. Oh, man. <laughs> well, when yeah. you're married, somebody else has... You know, Republicans and demon rats are all the same because they all can't say she's not helping me though. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I was being rude. Yeah, yeah. So the, yeah. Voters have more diseases than Angola. It's just the way it works. Do the math. Okay. I think there's a chart. <laughs> Two plus three. Plus Politicians are some disgusting fucking people, man. How, how do they live with their stuff doing what they do? No, uh, uh, yeah. Why do people keep putting them back in the same fucking shit that they made and letting them make it worse? I think they're drones. I don't think they have souls. They're like, I sir, I'm un unhappy with... <laughs> they're clones and drones. Well, to be perfectly honest, though, the only way the American or... England or any place else it affects me is financially or emotionally. Outside yeah. of that, nah. I wouldn't, unless somebody tells me, I don't know what's going on. Damn, we only got 15 minutes. Ah, it's all his fault. I blame Larry. Larry got bumped from. Hmm. Oh, Frumpy got bumped too, so he just got back. Okay. Ah. <sighs> These technicalities. <coughs> I know, live, and, and then Larry got spunked. And he's yeah. the, out of the three of us, he's the worst <laughs> computer guy. So Greg just comes back. back. What? You're doing a live show? What the hell? Ah! Greg's going to be scrambling to update the bot and everything. Uh, Grim does a lot of shit people don't realize. Hmm. Oh, I always beg him first. I don't surprise him with shit. And go, you know yeah. what? Yeah, and nah. ask, hey, will you help? And and then there's those occasional where can't get on the radio. <laughs> yeah. Something locked up. Something. Oh, this Windows is an intrusive little girl. Let me tell you. There he did it. Okay, well, well, oh, he did the, well, we got the drop. We had Larry, <laughs> now it's just Robin Flash. But Larry's all dropping a coil somewhere. Yeah, so Larry, it's not, I think somebody dropped a coil on Larry. But he he is sitting on something that's potentially huge, huge. And well, eventually, no matter if Larry does it or somebody, it's going it's coming. to happen. It's coming, yeah. I guarantee it, yeah. Larry's just one in a long line of people that have come up with things that, that can change the world. So, uh, and not even really beginning with Tesla, but Tesla was a big milestone in the in the history of it all. And uh, but this is this is right in the footsteps of Tesla. Up yeah, upgrading his work to the modern. Yeah, well, he took that and. <laughs> well, a hundred years ago, they they were dealing with materials in cruder ways. That's true. With a lot less knowledge, no experience, just doing yeah. shit. See what yeah. happened. <laughs> That's the world I came out of. Ended up in this, I don't know what you call it, instant oatmeal world. It's kind of dis disturbing. The disposable world. <laughs> well, I still don't have a iPhone. I still don't have a cell phone. I've never had an iPhone either. I'm holding out. I do have a cell phone, but it sits on my no, desk. Ah, ah, ah. Nope. I even got beyond that no phone, period. Just the computer. Yeah. So I'm only addicted to one fucking thing, not two. Do you have a house phone? No. No, I, all our communication needs are met on the internet webs. Oh, okay. So she has a, a smartphone and that the speed or wow. I can't uh, call her that though. She gets mad at me. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, partnerships are like that. You gotta be nice once in a while or they fold. Yeah, things get unpleasant. <laughs> food starts tasting. There's Larry. 
Help! He said help. Come on. Where is he? Yeah, there he is. All right. I see him. Hey, Grimner, are you, Grimner's online. Okay. I'm online. Grim, would I'm you right join here. us on, in the drop in a coil? I'm right, and I'm right here, dude. I got this. Oh, that's right. I'm not used to that, Rob. I forgot. <laughs> hey, Grim. Don't worry. It's just me panicking because we're live doing a show, with, but we're Larry Less. But Larry's exactly. back on wire, so that's something. Yeah. We'll see what that's happens. Just, that's just something. <laughs> Only to us. It's too funny. Wow. Okay, yeah, but right now, Mary, it's just me and uh, Rob Stalin until we can get Larry back in. And uh, I can see... Oh, wait a minute. Let me go back to the drop in the coil. That's where I belong. Because it says three three on a call, I believe. Nope. Drop in the coil, it says two on a call. But I saw him say help. There he is. Okay. Rob is going to guide Larry through the maze we call the interweb. Bring him back to finish his story soon. I promise. Give it a few more minutes, folks. In the meantime... <laughs> okay. I um, could always dazzle... What? Yeah, I think uh, what I need to do is drop this call and restart it. Okay. To get Larry back on. Uh, okay. He's having trouble. Uh, let, let me tell him, and then I'll do that. I'm out. Okay, go ahead. I am doing it now. Let me restart the call. And there it goes. And start it back over. Okay. That's me and Flash. Did when he did his uh, screen share button, he must have put somewhere else. else. Okay. Um two on a call. Yeah, he's, he's on coming in. I keep, don't get keep it. Keep talking, let me work from there. Okay. Um Well, um are, we're still on the radio? Yes, keep going. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, let's see. What there? Yeah, uh, Freddie Town is comfortable with sunshine. No chemtrails in the skies today. A typical Danish boring afternoon. Trying to get on the radio with Larry and Rob, <laughs> and we got hit with a tsunami of <laughs> oh inconveniences through the. Delivery of these wonderful systems so we could try to do these things that people don't want us to talk about, like energy. Hmm. Uh, anyway, okay. Larry is uh, working on a project, well, not working on, but negotiating a project that could be big. And if it catches on with one place, other places will do it. And in 20 or 30 years, eh, the world won't be a shit all. <laughs> but for the moment, that's weird because I can see his name in the box. I can read his text. I'm not having him Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, that might work. That's what I do. When I can't fix it, I drop back 10 feet and reboot. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, um, that's... Yeah, okay, okay yeah. He's going to try that, so it'll, it'll be a couple minutes yet. You know, he's going to re reboot the whole thing. But he's got a good story today for you guys. Sorry to put you through. Yeah, he was in the middle. Do you remember where he what he was saying when he dropped no, out? No, no, that's too long ago. He'll he'll know. Trust me. <laughs> we'll have to back up. So, well, he had see. gotten past explaining the expense of the, the true expense behind the solar. Yeah. And um, he was taught. See. He did mention it was in a country with jungle. Yeah. And that was he. <clears throat> he was doing his Larry. I can't do Larry Rob. <laughs> 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 oh, good lord! But I can do Bullwinkle. <laughs> it suits my personality. Anyway, I see a red dot. <laughs> okay, Larry is. Dry. Okay, I might be on the wrong. Let's see. Yeah. Nope. He's rebooting. No, nope, there he is, right? Five, 820. 
to the cerebral center or something? No, that was that was Larry. Yeah. Larry typed in text just a minute ago. So he's here, it's but we can't hear yours or him. What text he's, text not text? Being, he's not reading him on the call. Is what I'm no, saying. no, he's not. Oh, he's I just supposed to be rebooting. 824. Oh, it's 825. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I can't be more confused. No, you just missed what he said. We're just waiting for him to reboot. This is an update from headquarters at Hurricane Coil. Hurricane Coil hit Missouri <laughs> at approximately 8.05 <laughs> Eastern Standard Time. You mean Danish time? I don't know. Yeah, so <laughs> I, I, was, I was War of the World. It would have been 105 Central Time. The Martians have landed. Oh, look. Hey, they took Stella. Bye, Stella. <laughs> Okay, we're just give him a minute to get back. Yeah, because I was just asking my wife, Soikel, the other day, what do you what do you say to a woman with two black eyes? Uh, nothing. You already told her twice. Uh, right. Yeah, I got the eye roll for that one. Too. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. She doesn't have a sense of humor. That woman. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, she's funnier now. I'm just being mean. No, I'm so I'm cool to come, man. You know that. Very bad. I know you're just joking. Right? Oh, we've got an update from Florida. Grocery looked wiped out. Didn't get there until yesterday. Everyone's planning a hurricane party. Florida! Yeah, the Florida update. On this, the 31st of July. July, actually. Two zero two zero. Yeah, okay, but did they have any Reese's? Oh yeah. Well, no, no. It's just the, the party, so they usually take all the beer and what beer and paper shit you can't find. I know, but I'm talking about important stuff. Reese's. That it, have you ever been through a hurricane? Beer is important in a hurricane. Mm-hmm. How else are you going to sleep? Beer is important. Got. The weed just keeps you up. You're you know looking on the internet for. Why, where the hurricane originated. Where's <laughs> it now, man? Where's it now? Is it, is it, is it getting closer? Is it here? Is it, where's that? It's uh, like a train. <laughs> when the hurricane passes your house, it sounds like a train. It's very bad. It's scary. That's what they say. I've been through two of them. Whoa. Never again. I will pass on the hurricane. Earthquakes, they don't bother me so much. That's all good and well, but will the hurricane pass on you? I've survived two of them. One in North Carolina and one in Florida. Mm -hmm. But I grew up in L.A., so earthquakes were normal. The earthquake would scare the shit out of people, and I'd tell them, ah, come on, you big pussy. (laughs) You got to be kidding. Because when when the one in 89 in San Francisco was happening, I went outside the bar to watch the cars bounce and the buildings shake. Yeah. And everybody else is clinging onto doorways and hiding and shit. Oh, fuck. What the fuck are you going to do that for? You're going to get nailed. You're going to get nailed. It doesn't matter where you're at. Yeah. It's mm. it's really weird. It's, nature is uh, yeah. crazy, crazy stuff, man. You see shit wiped out and right next to it, it looks pristine and like nothing ever happened to because at that same moment, I was daring the thing to take me out. A car was driving across the uh, the Bay Bridge, and a piece of the Bay Bridge collapsed in front of them. Uh. They fell over it, uh, falling after it. Damn. What do you do? You, you don't even know when <laughs> when you drive, especially if you're driving. I've never been in a car through an earthquake. That would be a first. Yeah, you definitely don't want to be on a bridge in an earthquake. I don't know. The do's and don'ts of survival are very strange. <laughs> you know, one guy get turns left and gets yeah. hit by a bus. One guy turns right and finds a $100 million thing. You know, it's life. Eh, I've tried not to live it, you know, before it happens. Yeah. So far, so good. Yeah, I'm not, well. Hmm. You get cowards. I used to think as we age, as a collective, we get cowards. More cautious of 
you know, what didn't frighten me 30 years ago, now I pay attention well, to Well, yeah. That. When you're young, you're nine foot tall and bulletproof. No, I was five foot tall and not bulletproof. I just <laughs> stayed out of the way of people that handled weapons. Well, um, okay. No. Yeah, and my love for I they never developed a love for it. The last time I handled a, a gun was with my brother. Okay. Well, that wasn't necessarily about guns. I didn't. I wasn't. That was just to say. Oh, I don't. <laughs> it's just an expression. I think, I think everybody should have one, and then nobody would have anything to complain about. Well, pretty much everybody does. Solve your problem. Well, what makes us argue amongst ourselves is telling you no. You can't do that. So watch this. Yeah, well, I, we had that conversation earlier. Best way to get me to, to, get best way to, get me to do something problem. is tell me I can't. <laughs> Not everybody's like, you know, there's some people that they bow to authority. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I know it's a, it's a horrible rumor, but yeah. they do. Yeah. You know what they do? They vote. Oh, man. Yeah, you know why they vote? Because they believe that believe. they vote. That when you do something they don't like, like smoke a point uh, a plant, they can oh. have you under arrested and put in oh, jail. Shit. Hold the presses. Hold, okay. hold everything. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Grim near just posted some breaking news. Ice cream melts in the midday summer sun. Wow. Breaking news. Yeah. In New, Mex in, in New Mexico. Yeah. In July. The sun, you the sun, July here, people. The sun is hot. And everything like that. I, I found a cure for corona, but nobody will believe me. You change your mind? So sad. No, simpler than that. Oh, yeah. But nobody believes me. You okay. know how you get rid of the corona in 24 hours? Bullshit. I don't believe it. You send all the uh, people in Senate and the Congress that hold dual citizenship with Israel, send them to Israel. Ban them from the United States. And 24 hours later, you get your country back. Really? Mm -hmm. All these, all these uh, restrictions and financial problems are all based on, you wouldn't believe this, the Jews. Well, that sounds a lot well, harder than just changing your mind. I like that idea, Rob. I'm going to go with that. Okay. okay, I just changed my mind. What 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 am I doing? <laughs> I think I'll hit the pipe and let it go. That's what I'm going to do. I got stoned and I missed it. Fuck yeah! I've been doing that for like a while. <laughs> well, I've, oh, I've been smoking. I've been smoking longer than Cirque's been alive. Wow. <laughs> uh, yeah, and sometimes she's so cool about me being. I don't know. I, I I don't. I don't get it. Yeah, me neither. I'm such an American here. It's so <laughs> weird. It's the novelty. I think so. You know, but yeah. some of the people that I've met that I got friendly with are in, they're just interesting people. Yeah. You know? Like I, I I wave at the the town council down at the drinking their beer in the day. They all know me. I know all of them. It's like, wow. Get to know your town drunks. That, there's okay, some Larry, you should, you should be coming back on. about now. Hmm. Hmm. I've been stalling for Larry Woods. This is Flash. <laughs> Doing my thing all over Rob. Well, we try to get Larry hey connected. I'll be doing the thing all over me. What the fuck? You're in the way, duck, damn, damn, damn it. it. Couldn't they teach you anything growing up? Fuck. Now, I'm so small, I never have to duck. Right. I just kind of lean. Move behind somebody tall, and you don't even know I'm there. <laughs> well, shit. And sometimes she will. <laughs> this is uh, frustrating. Uh oh. I, I see that. I don't have any idea what Larry could have done to disable this entertainment <laughs> and bring it down to this. I point. don't know what happened. But it's all Larry's fault. He did it. It's all Larry. Blame Larry. 
No, I don't know. Now for some uncomfortable silence. Yes. Real liberty. Maybe a moment, not a moment of silence for Larry's for pleasure. your <laughs> for your viewing pleasures. Oh, he, viewing I, pleasure. <laughs> hey, at least this happened um, at an odd time. Yeah. So yeah. nobody was expecting us to do it any damn way. Yeah. But I don't think they were expecting us to fuck it up this badly, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, I explain why. Nothing we can do. I can't do that about it. I can't make Larry's computer work, right? <laughs> no. I'm not, not there. No. I would be happy to do it, but. It's a nice segue into this is one other of the reasons that the, the government's gone with all this lockdown and separatist bullshit. Yeah. So it makes helping somebody else pretty hard when you can't go near them because you could go to jail for being near them because you might give them a cold. Yeah. <sighs> I'm so bored of that. But that's the future. That's what's holding you hostage right now is you could get a cold. <laughs> Ooh, I'm scared. Aren't you scared? I uh, want to be afraid. I'm not scared of the cold, no. Graham Z says, y'all are trained professionals. So. That's right. I'm trained in the art of confusion. Because when somebody's bullshitting me, I always know it. Uh huh. Unless I'm truly enjoying the bullshit, then I don't care because it doesn't matter. But some people are just over the top. You know. You've spoken to them in your day, I'm sure, sir. Tina loves cats. Who had infected, decaying, zombified? Whatever that is. Cicadas. Oh. Locust. Is that a bug? Uh, yeah, it's a bug. What's that got to do with them? Tina loves cats. Tina yeah. loves cats is the person that posted it. Yeah, I'm really running. I don't know how to stall with nothing to really talk about. <laughs> we don't have a. We don't have a, anything. Yeah, to throw no, on. fucking zero, man. Talk well, Larry was going to bring up a, a a list or of things. Oh yeah, he was gonna... just to the list part, and I was asking him if he wanted me to post it, and he said no. He just wanted to refer to it. So well, he's going to show it to it. us on the screen share, but yeah, mm -hmm. he doesn't have a hard or a copy to two posts. He right, was, right, 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 right. I thought he should show it to us. Yeah, I don't I think I took it. I don't know. Anyways, we're fine. I'm just a young, impressionable mind on the internet. Come on, learning Larry. I'm learning things as I go. Hmm. Well, I don't know if we lost him altogether or what. Maybe rebooting uh -oh. wasn't such a good idea. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Aliens got him. Uh, he said he tried to close the wire and reopening it, but I bet he didn't actually close the wire. He just closed the window. And oh, you know, yeah. You have to go down on the icon in the taskbar, right click on it, and exit. Uh, yeah. Quit. I'm wondering if he got his updates, too. I don't know. I'm not Larry. Any so I can only screw up my own stuff. Yeah. Uh, wow. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> okay. Well. Wow. Different bat meat. Wow, I never <laughs> thought of that. Different kind of bat. <laughs> <laughs> well, people are in their exaggeration. Oh, oh my. You're funny. I tried it. Well, shit. Um, it worked. I'm a success. I'm so pleased. Well, but on the bright side, you know, there is never an alternative. So, no. I give I give Larry a lot of credit. Uh, there's three on the call. I give, Ooh, there he is. Here he comes. Hey, there we go. There he is. Oh, Man of the hour. Took a whole freaking hour. Uh, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> Has has anybody got a buggy whip that can come over and teach me how to use this thing? 
<laughs> I'd love to come hang out and teach you how to, and, and fix your computer up and show you how to use it. Okay. No, we anyway. were trying to figure out where you left off, Larry. And yeah, we, where did I leave off? We we came to the decision. It was when you were going to show us the. the you were about to start talking share. about the list of stuff. I think. Yeah. And you were okay, going to I'll share it, and then you vanished. Okay, uh, I probably had way too many things up on my computer. Uh, I won't try to. I won't try to share a screen. Uh, okay. But <laughs> what I really, God. Uh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, it says that I've got a very poor connection. Huh. Are you there? We okay. hear you. Okay. Loud and uh, clear. Yep. Uh, yep. They say you're live in the chat, too, so they hear you on the radio. Okay. Sorry, folks. I, I'm i just an idiot. Uh, <laughs> what, what they've got out over there in their plans is mining for a great deal of other materials, uh, food processing plants, meat processing plants, a wire manufacturing plant. Oh, that's that's a, a furnace. That's a, an electric furnace that we can do, which will provide power for the, everybody on the grid. Each little node the power that it provides, the power that it generates, goes back into the system. Right. Now, there's going to be draws on it everywhere, and that's great because the bigger the draw, the more power goes back into the system. So, so it uh, feeds it's on win itself. Everybody. It was so yeah, it's it's all things. Did you tell them about the mining uh, coral yeah. setup thing you got? Uh, yeah, we've we've got a setup for plasma mining. Yeah, uh, you told them about it. it, it uh, uh, not yet. That that comes next. That okay. comes in the next meeting. Okay. Uh, so they That's the same. That you, you might want to hold a little bit back too. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Uh, and I, I'm sure Flash can uh, relate to this being paranoid. About people and their, their greed um, to be careful about how the contracts are worded and just be sure you're not giving up any any rights. <laughs> well, if we can only get ten percent of what this project is worth, that's three or four hundred thousand dollars, or three or four hundred million dollars. Yeah. So I don't care. Let him be greedy. All I want is ten percent. Yeah, but we don't want him to be able to lock the technology down. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. Uh, nobody oh, gets an exclusive yeah. ever. Nobody gets an exclusive. There's no way in the world that one, even one country, could manufacture all the coils that are eventually going to be needed. We're going to need manufacturing facilities and sales facilities. Everywhere in every city, yeah. So it it can only get bigger, and the bigger it gets, that's that's quantum computing. We've got an on, an off, and a waiting. That's that's quantum computing right there. Hmm. So once we get these nodes built up. And we were looking at the at the uh, architect's print for the the manufacturing facilities and the local neighborhoods, and that right there is a setup for the quantum computer, and we'll have plenty of power for it, and it's done at room temperature, yeah. so there's there's no problem. You've eliminated the whole superconductor thing. Yeah. And and if they get an EMP strike, all the better. That just feeds more power into our system. Yeah, it takes it as as a as a, as a boost. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they'll have more to e export. Um, <laughs> Thanks for the energy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and if there's a lightning strike, 
that will be dissipated through the entire system. It won't hit one, it'll hit one spot and maybe burn out the coils on that one spot. But that surge goes through and feeds everybody else in the system. Yeah. So lightning strike is no longer a problem. Businesses will never go down because they lose one leg of their power. Because if, if something happens and they do lose one leg, that's super. It will be fed from all the other nodes in the system. Yeah, it's, there's no centralized uh, generation. Yeah. No more brownouts. No more people that only have power for one or two hours a day because the industry is using it. Right. Yeah, and, a dividend, and a dividend to everybody that uses power according to how much they use. That means that everybody in town can be a power hog. And they will be, yeah, they're incentivized to be a power hog. Because <laughs> yeah. that generates more power. It's, this whole thing is just amazing. And so, um, you got up to the level of industry, in heavy industry. You talked about how, uh, you know, one pole will power two houses, and you get uh, six houses, and you can power a, a, a small commercial room. store. And, and then, then you got those, it builds up to light industry, and then heavy, heavy industry, and then what was after that? After heavy industry, that's export power to your neighbor. Right. Export power to the to the next city. Export power to the next country. Right. The the more the more load that you put on this system, the more it produces, and the more you can export. So now you need to industrialize so that you can make billions of dollars on the power that you export. And the transmission wire won't have to be cable that handles 72,000 volts. It'll be cable that handles 600 volts. Yeah. So you, you're, you don't lose, you only save. Yeah. And, and if you want to keep it to a 2 watt wire, just a small wire, just put a telephone pole every 100 feet with a light on it. Some place yeah. to go to ground. And that you can put across the border into the next country and at that point hook up to some sort of industry because you'll have that entire grid that you've already set up uh -huh. to feed the next one. Yeah. And then they, so they sooner can or later, no, no matter what, sooner or later a group is going to do this. And it's like, it seems to me like it's a race to see if you can pull it off. Yeah, well, because there's a, a lot of ways to do it, and it's being done. And there's places in Asia that uh, I found out through you guys use electromagnetics as a source of energy. Mm -hmm. Oh fuck, it's so sci-fi, and here we are in 2020. It should be common. Yeah, and it's like an alien. It's like fucking finding out what your dick is for for the first time. Yeah, no, this has been around forever. You dumb shit. Yeah, holy fuck. This, well, this I feel engineer. left out. Okay, yeah. but I feel left out, and you guys are opening up some big doorways for me, you know, because things are possible. Yeah. I've been listening to you, Larry, for a while now. Talk to your village city council and ask them if they would like us to come in and give them free energy, absolutely free, where they can export power. Mm -hmm. I I don't speak enough Danish to pull that off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. But I know, an I know an electrician in town, and just by the the things I bring up to him, he knows I know something. But I know something he's not familiar with, and we've yet to be able to uh, sit down and talk about it. Yeah. But he got he got hurt on the job the other day. Mm. So, so he's I might have to catch him for an hour. To bend his ear. Yeah. Well, he speaks English and Danish. There you go. His, his English is not as good as his Danish. He's yeah. Well, so English you is get a him, harder you language. You get him brought up to speed, and then he can go to the council. Yeah, I'll make him sit through this program. That's what I was saying. I don't know how I could do that, but I could give it a shot. And he's, yeah. he's an electrician on top of it, so he's going to go in with that 
mindset perspective you have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm open to anything because I don't already know stuff. You guys already know stuff, so you have to be taught how in much a different way. You know? Yeah. Be untaught how and then taught. How much? Yeah, untaught, Roy. How much do you pay for your power a month? Me? Yeah. I don't have a clue. I don't know. Okay. We, it comes, it's not, I don't know how to translate the Danish right now against the American dollar. It, it would sound horrible, it, it expensive. But it's, it's probably the same uh, as any other European country or America. Yeah. So it, that, would, that would relate to around $100 a month American. Probably, maybe, give or take. Yeah. Because yeah. we're, we're not big power users. Yeah, so that's twelve hundred dollars a year in your pocket, plus everything that you produce over what you consume, which will be as much power as you can use. Then you send that to the power company, and they have to pay you for it. And it makes good sense too, yeah. and it's easy to understand. That's that's but, monthly yeah. dividend check. Yeah. Wow. Simple as pie, but we've got these old standards to overcome. Yep. We've got a lot of to overcome. A lot of people believe that the way it's being done is the only way or the best way to do it because that's what they're doing. You know what I'm getting at? Yeah. yeah. We, we reduce the good. size of the production facility by spreading it out over the entire city. We power each individual house. Well, every two houses we power with one system. The industry is self-powered. That means that everything that everybody uses creates that much additional input, uh, energy into our system, which gives it more capacity and more capacitance to send out over the grid to the next city. We've eliminated the substation. We've, we've turned a quarter-acre substation into a 10 by 100 room. So what can you lose? You can't. You can only make money. Yeah, well, that's sadly the how this is going to ever work in the first place. Yeah. People don't like free. Free will never in, in, You just get called a communist. Okay, um, now this is this is probably a whole lot less than what it'll go on the market for, but I figured that we could probably sell these coils at three hundred dollars a piece and make a big profit. Okay, it takes four coils to make this system work. That's twelve hundred dollars between two new homes. That's six hundred dollars a home. You're already paying more than that much to get your furnace put in or to get your air conditioner put in. It's it's less money than you'd pay for carpeting your whole house. It's just like another <laughs> appliance. Yeah. 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 So, you know, the expense isn't going to be that much. And once you get your house powered for free, when we get six of them, that's a three-phase node. Right. Because each house is going to be using two of the legs. Six of the houses will give us enough extra circuits that we can put it together and make a three-phase circuit out of it. Right. So, you know, six houses make your grocery store or your gas station, and six gas stations make your your welding shop, and six welding shops make your heavy industry for making the wire. And it it just it just builds. Days to change off each other. Yeah, it's a gigantic octopus, and you're putting a sucker everywhere you can put it. And everyone generates more. Yeah, every one of them generates more. So you actually accomplish your goal by addressing greed instead of helping people. Absolutely. Let's address let's address the greed part of this to make it real. Okay. <sighs> Well, that's the reality of what I'm hearing. It's okay. We, not we bad, looked, it's just it, the, way it, the way it is. We looked at a property in Rhode Island to try to retrofit this with. 
here in the United States. That property uses a million two hundred thousand dollars worth of electricity, and the entire roof of the facility is already covered with solar panels. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So, what would happen if we retrofitted that and let them make that much money, or half of that much money? That means their profit margin would go up. When your profit margin goes up, CEO makes more money, and he's really happy. Stockholders make more money, and they're really happy. Yeah, you hit it. So, in the end, yeah, the poor guy's going to still be in the same loop. Yeah, greed. It's, just, it's never going to end. But how much money do you need? How much money do you want? I don't know. I well, don't. Personally, I don't, but other people seem to. Use more power. Turn an electric drill on and leave it wired to where it's burning all the time. <laughs> Turn everything you got up as far as it'll go. Leave all the lights on all the time. Yeah, me and Cirk downsized a few years back and got out from under the uh, microwave, dryer, all that. Just did away with it. Yeah. Well, it was and, and, the sun. And it was the weird thing she was saying. I, I thought you liked them. <laughs> I thought you liked them. <laughs> oh, God. You know, because the house came with a dryer. Yeah. So when we moved into it, it already had one. So I just thought, well, she uses it, so she must like it. And <laughs> I've still got a clothesline in the backyard. That's how old-fashioned I am. Yeah, I know it. That's, we live in a weird street, and I'm telling you, there's a, such a, a diversity of personality, and they're Danish, but they're all different. <laughs> some wave flags, some don't. Hmm? Yeah. Some watch television where you can see they're watching certain things from the street when you pass by their house. <laughs> Status. <laughs> yeah, it's like a, well, in the electronic world, you watch a certain show, too. And you got the window to show it. <laughs> well, got this 69 inch big screen TV. Some of window. them are, yeah, some of them are, and some of them are just showing you that, you know, hey, this is what I'm doing. But you know what I never see? Online. No? That's what I don't see. Is, uh, well, I did the last year. Two kids moved in down the road and had some computers, but they left. So, hmm. Two different houses, not two kids, but two different buildings. And then over the time that they were here, they split, so there's no more computers on the street, just yeah. TVs. Hmm. Well, I keep telling people, man, the Internet's got everything on it, and people don't use it. Uh, uh, Alex Jones has so many YouTube. That's not using the Internet. That's YouTube. That's not what it, it started out as one thing, right. and it got, took over. Now, before the show, Larry, you said you had a presentation, and you were yeah, about, about to get into that. that. Yeah, that, that's what I was doing, was telling you about this project. Okay. Yeah. And then you had a list of things or something. Oh, we, okay, well, I was cut off before the list. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't screen share it, but you were going to, but you didn't, but then you said you could just talk about it. Yeah, okay. Well, uh... They're, they're going to have mining projects for precious metals, uh, lithium, copper, uh, aluminum. Uh, they'll have an aluminum foundry. Uh, uh, rare earths. Yeah. All kinds of things. They've got different processes. They're going to have a wire building, uh, wire stretching or making company. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's that's a big draw on it. Uh, let's see, go over my list here. Um, so so we can help them out with the plasma mining equipment that we've got. Uh, water heating is simply a metal sleeve, an iron sleeve around a copper water pipe and put it through a magnetic field, and that sucker will glow red. That's instant hot. No longer do you need a water heating system. 
Uh, same with refrigeration. An ammonia refrigeration system works by heating the ammonia at one end and it cools at the other. So now you can do that for free just by running it through a coil. Uh, our coils produce a little bit higher magnetic field than other coils, but you can use a standard toroidal coil to do the same thing. And it doesn't cost very much money to, to use it off the shelf stuff. Yeah. Uh, we, we can provide them clean water through electrolysis. We can yeah. increase the pH through electrolysis. We can add ozone through electrolysis, which makes all the plants grow better. Uh, we can eliminate cold welds in, in welding fa uh, operations because when one guy's welding and two or three other guys strike an arc at the same time, you get a huge voltage drop, which reduces the amperage going to that area. It actually draws more amperage to operate the equipment but it reduces the available amperage in the system, and it gives you a cold weld that will break. We can eliminate that totally. Yeah. All yes. critical systems have constant power. Yeah. With, with the, the AC nodes, it just has to be located there. So but much. So much that can be done. Yeah. No brownouts. No industrial shutdowns. When you lose one leg of your power for some reason or another, the other two legs make it up magnetically. It draws the power that it needs off of the grid, off of the, the octopus that we've set up, and, and you're done. There's no moving parts, no inverters for the, for the solar panels to go DC to AC. Whatever frequency the motors operate at, that's the frequency that the system uses. Right. So you can have 50-cycle equipment or 60-cycle equipment, or you can mix a 60-cycle motor with two 50-cycle motors and come out with 54 cycles, which is healthy. How does that work? Each, each motor makes the other motors next to it Try to operate at that frequency. Oh, you never said that before. Yeah, so, so, average, so 250 and yeah. a 60 come out 54. That's the average. If it was just a 50 and a 60, it'd come out 55. Yeah. Wow. And these are just mathematical equations that just work. Absolutely. You know they do or you don't. And, and it's because of the nine windings on a 12 circuit coil. Well, remember, in sales, people like to have a choice, Larry. <laughs> yeah, you can either pay money or make money. What do you want? Wow. There's your choice. You want to pay for it or you want people to pay you for it? <laughs> and that's it. That's the only choice that they've got. That's I why I think we'll get this project. I'd like to see that. Then no you can go to Denmark yeah. and buy me dinner. Yeah. Maybe me and Cirque. Yeah, both Maybe of them. get Hannah a whole family. <laughs> whole and I want to pet your dog. I oh, love she dog. love you. Yeah, Hannah's a, a lovable kind of dog. It, it, we're, we're achieving this whole thing by doing something that's against the rules in the United States. Mm -hmm. We're switching yeah. the neutral. Yeah. That means that the whole system is has potential waiting to do something all the time. All you got to do is connect your neutral wire when you want your system to do something. And the laws are written specifically so. Well, no, over here you can't do that. By law. By law. Yeah. Well, by, by electrical construction code. Code. Okay. Similar. Yeah. yeah okay. same, same thing. It's a law. If you, if you do it that way, then you don't get to pass inspection. They'll, and they'll find you if they catch you doing it. Yeah. Much smaller transmission lines, no pollution, no waste, new products that, that your country needs to be making in country. So we'll have coil manufacturers, we'll have magnet manufacturers, we'll have 3D printers or, or injection molding sites. Uh, so that that gives your people in their housing developments 
something to do for a living. We'll, <laughs> we'll have a trolley car, a trolley car now, mind you, that as it moves along the track, drawing energy, it generates energy to put more energy into your system so your transportation can be absolutely free in that country. And I've been watching Star, Star Trek all these years thinking it was a bunch of nonsense. Not anymore. No, it's actually not nonsense. See, that's how they conned me into thinking the limitations were real. Yeah. And not pursuing an answer because really, at my level of living, it didn't seem like it was going to make a big deal one way or the other. How I saw it. So I never cared. Now I got this, I have a new way to look at it. Yeah. Uh, and greed, you got it. I got to tell you guys, I got that Jew greed. Oh, it's terrible. <clears throat> yeah, also, you know. also with this, we can install a 5G system with healthy power, with healthy communications. Yeah. The whole thing is just flipped upside down. It's just yeah. flipping everything and, upside and down. And you said threat. If they didn't threaten us with all this shit that we don't understand in the first place, we wouldn't be afraid of it. Yeah. Like the 5G. Oh, it's going to kill you. Blah, 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 blah. Well, why? How? Ebola the virus. Same thing. <laughs> Things you don't even fucking know anything about and you're afraid of them. You, me, whoever. Somebody out there. If, <sighs> if we put in a healthy 5G system, that means no longer are there going to be a need for vaccinations. And it would sure clear up the mental illness. Absolutely. People wouldn't be mad all the time. Scared. Boy, I just for you. Isolated. <laughs> afraid. All the, yeah. Make the, ooh, the floor. You know where they get the fluoride from now, right, Larry? Tell me. China. They used to get it out of <laughs> Florida from um, Alcoa. Figures. And they upgraded. They got a better deal. And the Chinese add arsenic to it. Well, that's a process of making aluminum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Well, they used to at least take yeah. the arsenic. The fluoride is the waste product from aluminum production. And now they get it from China instead of Florida. So, we live in a world where they tell you one thing and then they do it something completely different. Yeah. No Be careful. careful. That, that left hand is there somewhere. Trust me. Yeah. No, no it's not cut it off. No, you got it. There's <laughs> no pollution and no hazardous waste. Yeah. Yeah, let's pull that. Yeah, it's that'll go good exciting. with the lockdown. It's cleaned up a lot of pollution. Mm -hmm. I got to admit that. You know? <sighs> yeah, although I'm not for it because I believe in freedom of travel. But if the system doesn't want you to go, they're going to make sure they control what you do. That's what they do. It's the whole reason the whole system exists is to control us. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Let's put an electric an electric compressor mm -hmm. in, in every airplane, one for every jet motor. Okay? Mm -hmm. With compressed air, you can turn a jet turbine with the right with the right uh, downsizing for your hole. You can turn that turbine at any speed that you want to. So all you got to do now is put air compressors on a on an airplane, and you've got clean travel. Yeah. See, yeah, all the Tesla things have been sold Tesla over the years. Sorry. Hmm. <laughs> it's hard to change, but I believe you. You can have an electric car. You can have a sure. car that levitates. <laughs> that would be cool. <laughs> yeah, flying cars. The Jetsons. The accident. <laughs> no. I want a well, flying car that you push a button and it folds up into a little briefcase. Like uh, now, that I haven't been able to do yet. Damn it. <laughs> what the fuck, Larry? <laughs> but, the, but the power supply... You can is small enough that you can use it on a motorcycle. <laughs> wow! Fuck. Well, it's just the doors this opens. It's really yeah, good. It is. Go under the seat on your scooter. 
Hmm. Yeah, it's amazing. Eliminate all the batteries in the world. No longer need a battery. Uh, yeah, just... And I, you no longer need any electronic parts whatsoever because one coil takes the place of all the electronic parts that there are. Yeah. It's a matter of how you wire it. Yeah, we've we've there gone a long way in the past year. Oh, the there. If people knew and really understood and fathomed the the, the the loss of of lifestyle opportunity uh, abundance that we should could and should have already yeah. from a hundred years ago. I mean, we're spoiled now. Yeah, this is point. Yeah, you know, especially in the in the modern uh, uh, Western industrial whatever quote quote nations. Um, but we could have, we could have had it so so much better, and so could the whole world. There would be no reason for anybody to be living in poverty. Nobody should ever be hungry. Uh, everybody should have clean air and water and a place to lay their head. And that's what we lost because well, we got zero air pollution. pollution. Zero air pollution. Uh, well. Think think about it. Uh, your house with a light pole out front of it. That gives you a little bit of security, but that light pole is going to have an LED light that goes to ground. That's one of your three legs for that three phase power that's being produced on top of your pole. Yeah. You've got the other two legs for your house that gives you the one ten or the two twenty that you need, or the two twenty that the Europeans need. Uh -huh. That that settles that. But instead of having a white light that's damaging to your eyes, <coughs> excuse me, you put a grow light in there. There's two different colors of grow lights, and I don't know which is which. But one of them produces plant growth or, or stimulates plant growth, and the other one makes the plant flower. So you just put the one that makes it flower there, that will stunt the growth of the plant in the jungles that we're talking about and make them bloom all the time. Huh. So why not make your why not make your street pretty instead of cutting down all the trees so that five G will operate? Yeah. And, and it'll hold back the jungle. So and once again this 15,000 acres that most of it we're going to be saving can be put into crops. And those crops can have that kind of a grow light over them and produce more power and grow better. They can get more crops per year or bigger crops. Well, it's all connected. So much. It's all connected. Yeah. There's no way that you can lose money on this deal. It's not like the solar farms that they got now that just cost the money, or the wind farms that just cost the money. Wow, the power plants getting their money for their power for free, but you're paying through the nose for it. Yeah. So the investment from your customers is actually buying the coils. Yeah. Yeah. And that's all their investment that's is just buying the coils. And what about the casing to house them, or uh, that's what all else would it need? That's oh, okay. So you're just calling it the, the coils, yeah. but it's actually it's a, a whole complete system. system, right? Yeah, yeah, it's a whole system. Yeah, a functioning system. Okay. Yeah. Well, I've been following along, you know, the story so far, and it's kind of complicated. It's a lot to remember, Larry. <laughs> yeah. Let me just well re-verify this. You've eliminated the frequency modulator from the whole system? Yes, sir, just by putting a 60-cycle motor in it. Okay. A second motor in it. Well, you've got three motors on the three-phase system. Okay? Uh, you've got three legs to operate a three-phase motor. 
But we put three of those systems next to one another with three motors on them, two of them 50 cycle, one of them 60 right. cycle, that only lets it operate at 54 cycles. What that means is that the 60 cycle motor will run a little bit slower and the 50 cycle motor will run a little bit faster and everything still goes along. Hmm. And it's healthy, not harmful. That, well, that's the key to the thing that got me interested. Yeah, it's not, it's not uh, EMF pollution. Yeah, and it's sure ain't about my, it's, I'm more concerned with there's got to be a way to help people feel better. <clears throat> Physically. That's what this does. That's why I'm for it. Because yeah. <laughs> I believe you're telling the truth. Yeah, that might, yeah, that's the hook in me. <clears throat> I'm not just a selfish prick. I'm also a selfish prick for other people. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, yeah, I want yeah. everybody yeah. to have abundance because, you know, <laughs> there's so much. If you're going to well, party, yeah. isn't it more fun to party and with everybody being able to have the time to have a party? <laughs> I can only carry four cases of beer. Come on, I'm a little guy. Just give me a break. <laughs> you know? <laughs> okay. Well, I can't drink four cases, but you know, I can carry it. Yeah, well, that's four cases more than I need. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's what I mean. It's, I'm more of a sharing person than a yeah. selfish fuck. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, there's an old I don't get a lot out of it. There's an old <laughs> saying. It goes, uh, a rising tide raises all ships. <laughs> So, in, in the beginning, people aren't going to be saving a great deal on their, on their utility bills. But as the grid, as, as the system, it's not a grid, well, it's kind of a grid, but as the system grows, then everybody gets more power. Everybody has more, more power. For everybody, and, yeah. Yeah, and so the dividend check from the power that's being exported will go up. The more population, the more industry you have, the more you can export, the more you can export, the higher profit you got. Everybody so once everybody on the planet has this system, who are we going to sell the power to? Everybody will have that part of their life free. <laughs> Absolutely free. All your transportation, all of your Everything. mining, all of your industry. Everything will be operated free. That way you can only go to work for four hours a day. If that. Forget to work in eight hours every day. Go to work two days a week. Yeah. So what is work anyway? Hmm. A four-letter word. Yep. Well, I don't know. When, when we're maintaining the vegetables in the backyard, time-consuming it's not. And, but, you know, it's a small garden. So okay, it is for us, fun. yeah, but for me and Cirque to work around here, it's not just a couple hours a week, really. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't take much. No, it's not that big of a place. No, just maintain. Well, and then, right, I take the maintain, maintain time out of it. As far as you know, major shit, mowing the yard up and whatnot. Yeah, three hours in a week, and you got a nice looking yard. Yeah. Yeah. I'll grow your garden under the street light. <laughs> uh, I'll show you a picture of the design of this property. You wouldn't believe it. The front is on, the back of the house is on the street, and the front of the house is in the back. Good. It's and you can walk through the garden. Yeah. yeah, and there's no way to get to the front door without alarming the dog. I love that. Mm. And we got stones in the driveway, so we hear people's footstep out on the Way through the yeah. to get to the gate to open the gate to get to that through that to the other gate. By that point, Hannah's all over you, sniffing and wagging her tail and all that. I got stoned in my driveway once. <laughs> <laughs> it's a different kind of stone, Larry. <laughs> oh, oh, no, the little pebbles. Oh, I mean, oh instead, of, instead of asphalt or concrete, yeah, they allow stones here. They're, they're masons. I like a lot of the all the road work is all they got pavement, but they do a lot of stone work here. Cool. These stones. kids, I'm telling you, the masons here start them out. They must be 16 years old. They're on the street working, good, yeah. doing their apprenticeship. You know, 
and they got these little tiny backhoes about the size of a Volkswagen bus, uh, about maybe a half the size of a Volkswagen bus. Yeah. And they put them in a trailer, and they tow them around. They stop. They do their shit. Boom, boom, boom. These kids got their shits all flat and level and done. Yeah. And they're on their way. Boy, that's fun. Yeah, but the the Masons are dangerous, I heard. (laughs) They're all a bunch of (laughs) devil-worshipping freaking Satanists that want to eat your babies. That's only some of them. Well, yeah. The ones I live amongst probably don't. That's that's the (laughs) higher-ups, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just being sarcastic about uh, <laughs> they do the stonework here where I live, and it's just so different to be from where I'm from to be here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. I'm still not used to it's it. The world to look in amazement. But when the coil thing works, and it will eventually, it's just a matter of when. Yeah. If if we don't do it, somebody else will. Yeah, somebody's gonna. You'll be getting phone calls for the rest of your days, Larry. Well, this same engineer, uh, a few years back, the government asked him to check into a, a free energy system, mm-hmm. and all it was was a, a magnetic drive motor that turned an alternator. So you still had all kinds of electronic parts. You had all kinds of shafts and bearings and moving had parts, an alternator yeah. to burn out and moving parts. And, yeah. and he turned it down. So they don't, they don't want parts that wear out. We've got parts that wear out. The plastic that the donut is made out of and the insulation on the wire. You're talking 100 years minimum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Can we get a discount for that? Hell yeah. <laughs> you get a you get a discount by having one of the systems so that you get a dividend check every month from the power company. Yeah. That's just amazing. Uh, yeah, I've seen I've been seeing these types of things all my life. Been involved in a couple. I just God, I want one to come to fruition so bad. Well, we're we're not the only people that can produce free energy. No, a lot of guys, lot of guys are collecting the the spikes that are in opposition to, to power flow, right. the bad stuff, and that's milliamps. Yeah, we the the switching coil is four to one. When you put that with the power coil, the the load coil, that's 10 to 1, that's 40 to 1 right there. That's 40 to 1. Instead of 1 volt through 1 ohm of conductor yields 1 amp, you're putting 1 volt through 1 ohm of conductor and getting 40 amps, and we're going with 220 volt systems. Yeah. We're going with 480 volt systems. So how much power do you want? All you got to do if you want, want is, that another, is that another four coils? I want all the power. You got it. <laughs> you got it, and you can have it. Oh, wow. Well, I'm still figuring. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Greed can work. Greed gets my attention every fucking time. Oy. So hard. Well, yeah. Well, that's the thing is it does have a lot more chance working somewhere else besides here. Wow. Uh, you know. Wow. Oh, and so is there a link that you do have I can show um, Karsten to uh, explain the electrical part of this? No. No. Oh, then I don't know what to tell him to show him this. Oh, you're your electrical guy. Hmm? Um All we've all we've got to to really show the the coils. You can look at the coil. All it is is a donut with wire inside of it for the switching coil, and and our coil, or the the power coil, the one that gives you 12 volts AC with a, a stationary hallback array in it. That coil is just a bunch of circles on a toroidal shape. Uh. And our coil basically is simply a triple Mobius 
wrapped around the outside of a donut, mm-hmm. of, a, of a tore over shape. Uh, all right, so if I gave him a, a picture of your drawing that you put up on the wire, the diagram... I would, I would really, really, I would really rather you didn't show him that because oh, okay. that's, the, that's yeah. the one that that makes all this work. Okay. Mm. Well, uh, if I showed him a finished uh, or the donut that Rob was taking pictures of as he was making it, would that that be would any, be all right? Yeah, that would be all right. He wouldn't. No, would that be any help in showing him anything that's going to make sense to him as an electrician? Uh, not really. Looking okay. at the coils. See, yeah. Every, everybody makes a funny looking coil, and every coil will do something. Mm-hmm. You got to test it to find out what it does. But uh, for him, tell him that with with four different style coils. First of all, that we can produce AC out of a coil with no inverter. Then, then tell him that that coil powers another coil that replaces literally every single electronic component that there is. See, that's the part where it gets hard to believe. Oh, yeah. That's what, and he's speaking in Danish, so, in English, but he thinks in Danish, so I don't really know how to do this. But I'm going to make it a, I'm going to make it a, 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 like a thing I'm going to try to do. But I don't know how to approach him I don't want to lose him before I can talk to him. And this is such a weird topic to come to a strange, you know, as a nobody, you know, I don't yeah. know him that well. So, hmm. Ask him, ask him if he's interested in producing power for only the cost of the components. Ah, thank you. I know how to work with information like that. You hit me there, Larry. Thanks. Okay. I got it. Okay. Well, I, because, you know, you can scare somebody with your, your introduction and they stop listening right away. They don't want to hear it because you made them nervous. There ain't They're no nervous. such thing as free. No, free. that's the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Where's the, where is the bill? Come on, just show it to me. And there ain't no such Catch. thing as perpetual motion because it's going to die sometime. Okay. Right. Yeah. Right, right, right. Okay. Even sons die. Yeah, er, yeah, everything yeah. expires eventually. Right. Yeah. Hmm. So, but the, the idea of a, the components actually not costing you money, replacing them all the time is that's there's the catch right there. Yeah. How do you get rid of the moving parts? Well, that's really going to upset a whole lot of manufacturers because they make things that they want to break so that they can sell parts. Yeah, they're just making a lot of junk. people make more money on parts than they do on their original <laughs> equipment. Yeah, well, fuck them. <laughs> yep. Exactly. <laughs> you guys are so mean. <laughs> <laughs> once, once, once we do an installation, we don't want to see that customer again. We I know that. We don't want to sell them that. anything more. They, I know that. And besides that, how greedy can you get? I oh, mean. I'm not. Uh, sure. Some of these not. people can be pretty fucking greedy, man. Sad. Well, how many billions of dollars do you want to make? How much industry do you want to power for free so that you can put that that energy back into the grid and get paid for it? All of them. Hey, Bill Gates yeah. wants to run mm-hmm. everything, doesn't he? Yeah. I mean, that's his goal. I don't think he'll accomplish it, but it looks good on paper. And mm-hmm. the threats are just as fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. Got people scared all over the fucking place. Yeah. Oh. It's what they want us to be afraid, so we won't listen to Larry tell us there's an answer coming. <laughs> right. yeah. That's what I think. Yeah, yeah. Because your your story's more uh, unbelievable than the story that's being told, and we all know the story being told isn't real. <laughs> but we're yeah. making it real by participating in it. So shift out of that and participate in something better. What what we have done is taken basically Tesla and Lead Scalman technology and ancient technology actually and put modern parts with it that they didn't have available back then. 
That's we have right. eliminated the iron cores altogether, which is a major expense of any coil. And by doing that, we've allowed these systems to switch just as fast as you want to switch them without heating up. So uh, it's just free energy everywhere. And we have to have a ground. We have to have a load or it won't work. You can put all these systems in that I've been talking about, and if you don't connect it to ground every once in a while, it won't do anything. It'll just sit there looking stupid. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. It's, it's shocking me, and I'm the one that helped build it. Yeah, you've blown my mind. I, you just... I, uh, the implications and applications of this thing is, is I came uh, uh, I'm just giving you the next presentation that we're going to give to that design engineer okay and we've, we've already opened his eyes to the no EMP faults that won't ever hurt him again uh, and a few well, of the, the, the cheaper them. things that it can do yeah, that's usually them. They're spending millions of dollars on fixing just that right now. So yeah. that, that's a that's a very uh, salient point for him. Yeah, he's thrilled, no doubt. Well, and he's seen other devices. He's he's tested other devices that are supposed to be free energy. Over so the past, you know, he's open to the, the idea and turned him down. Yeah, he's open to the idea of looking at something at least. Yeah. So that's good. Yeah. And so, so, so you're still in negotiations? Uh, yeah. Mark, have yeah, we're still in negotiations. We'll have yeah. another couple of meetings with him. He's had a meeting with the Prince already uh -huh. uh, and got the Prince's perking up thinking he's going to make a bunch of money right so there's uh, we'll have another meeting with him to explain even more of the benefits that we can give them uh -huh. and more money that they can make from doing this and I don't see how they can turn us down really I really don't yeah so, barring some kind of outside influence well that would be the only way it's a win-win. Oh, not only that, <coughs> we figured a way around the UL label. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Independent oh. testing facility. That's what UL is. All we do is open an independent testing facility just like the pharmaceutical, com pharmaceutical companies do and test our own equipment. Yep. Certified. Yep. That's all we got to do. And we'll just insure the hell out of it. Yeah. Because there's going to be stupid people out there doing stupid shit, just like always. Yeah. But who cares? If you're making billions of dollars a year, give somebody a million bucks for, for getting hurt. Yeah. Don't pay the stupid people. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Pay the stupid people. Okay. That's it. I'm going to make that <laughs> quote. That's a, I'm used that's to that. A, that's a quote. I do that all the I've time. I've never heard one. I'm an expert at paying stupid people. <laughs> oh, me too. I'm a clutch. <laughs> yeah, well, we're all trapped in this freedom. <laughs> Let's enjoy it. Yep. Well, it's all we got. So, hey, share it with your neighbor. Uh, I think that this is something that, that we'll be able to do. Well, I know we're going to be able to do it, but I think okay. this is something that's going to let us do. Uh, and since we are an international organization, maybe I can't share technology with a foreign country. But my group can. <laughs> See? Loopholes. 
Yeah. Welcome. You didn't share it, did it? Welcome to Legal Ease. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, it, it's a win situation for everybody involved, literally. About time. I've been waiting. Ticks up the It's only been 60 years. The power there. Catch up. What, catch up. what kind of comments are we getting in the peanut gallery? This is all bullshit. He's a liar. No, mm. actually, mm. not really. It's I don't like see any opposition <laughs> to your cause. Chloe says she loves the uh, the design, engineering, and architecture. She's wow. really into that kind of stuff. Well, we we've, we've figured a way that the individual houses can get free stuff, and the buildings can get free stuff. And your transportation can be free, and your sewage treatment can be free, and just your mining will reduce the amount of caustic chemicals that they use in mining. Wow. Uh, it, everything is going to benefit everything about every it single industry. It's positive. Yeah. Yeah, and then all the waste from the pollution goes away. Yeah. So you don't have all that illness and, from. You know, waste products just bombarding you all the time. Okay, rather than hiring a thousand-man crew to deforest uh, 15,000 acres and keep it deforested in the jungle, they will decide, well, let's just put Roundup on everything. And what does that do? Yeah. That Roundup poisons the water. Everything. everything. Yeah. So we've eliminated that. Cut to the top. I'm for it. I think you should do this. Yeah. I think we should do it, too. You have a seal of approval. You may proceed. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. You have the go-ahead from the RLM. Our, yeah. You have our golden seal of approval from the RLM. And, and I, I think that our face-to-face -face meeting is going to be in Malaysia, and I've never been there, and I'd love to go. <laughs> or Thailand, one or the other. <laughs> you poor guy, you. How you suffer for the cause. Mm-hmm. Well, I that's what I think. Just do it. If you got to go greedy to get it done at this point in life, yeah, you don't really have a lot of time to wait. So, and free always just kills the deal. Yeah. People don't want to know. They want to make money and control other people and have slaves. <sighs> oh, well, I've already told them that I'm not traveling that far in economy. <laughs> ah, all right. So I'm not going to make consulting. We went in the to. Oh, I'll tell you about that in a second too. We we went economy to Indonesia, and my partner is six foot three, and I'm only five eight. But by the time we got there, we were both folded up for so long that <laughs> it took a whole day to recover. Yeah, yeah, to recover from the trip. Yeah. And now let's talk about our fee. We're going to go over there. We've already we've already established our price. Two of us are going to go over there at two hundred dollars an hour, from the time we leave home till the time we get back. Plus, they pay for everything while we're there: transportation, translators, security, housing, food, and board. Yeah. The whole thing. Oh, it's and it stays. Yeah, well, we, we've got a $4 billion budget, so, yeah, that's no problem. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's nice working for the government, huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, as a contractor, anyway. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to go over there and, and sweet talk to the Minister of Commerce and the Minister of Education and people like that. Department of the Interior. They, they follow international standards as far as electricity goes, and international standards say that you can switch the neutral. So fuck America. Yeah. America will be last. Damn it. I live in America. 
we'll we'll probably get a uh, like a, a eco community or something like that that we can do this in and get away with it if they have a solar system to begin with. Yeah. Okay, and you can do what? The neutral. Switch. switch. You can disconnect it. Yeah, when you when you switch the neutral, you're just turning your light switch on and off. But instead of making and breaking the hot wire, you're making and breaking the neutral wire so that the circuit isn't complete. The circuit is a circle that goes all the way from the panel and back to the panel. Right. That's all that is. It's just a circle. Just like in martial arts, everything is a circle. Wax on, wax off. Uh, a circle. I'm very familiar with a circle. <laughs> you don't know nothing about no circle, do you? Yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Round <laughs> table. If I don't mention it, I get complained at. Uh, How the hell do you spell neutral? It's not coming up on my spell. N e u t r a l. A l. Do that. You got to watch your spell check because you can write A S S and it doesn't know that it's not the word A S. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I have fun. <clears throat> oh, uh, do you know why there's more Democrats than there are Republicans? Yeah. Have you ever tried to get a good piece of elephant? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. <laughs> no, it, it, it's they're they're breeding it out of the population. You know, folks just don't know that a donkey is an ass. Oh, really? <laughs> now you, now you got it. Oh, now I get it. <laughs> oh. it it's Ooh. so much easier when you explain it. <laughs> when people talk, I just make shit up to fit the holes. When I don't understand something, I compare it to something I understand to entertain myself. And then now, sometimes I'm even close. <laughs> all, now, all, all, of this, all of this does not mean that you don't have to teach your kids how to grow their own food, how to make a fire without a match, yeah. all, the, all the basic stuff that if everything went to hell and there was no more power anywhere and nobody to support you, something that you can do for yourself to stay alive. Yep. Mm. How to make yeah. an atlatl. A who? An atlatl. <laughs> That's just a stick that throws us a little spear. Oh, okay. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Run that through your spell checker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll never so what, have it. <laughs> what does it do, Larry? It's a spear checker. Yeah, it's oh, a spear checker. Uh -huh. it's, it's a mechanical device, a wooden it's mechanical a device that throws a spear. Yeah, it's a lever. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Cool. Yeah, you'll need them to fight off the zombies that are trying to steal your electricity. That's it. Why would you need that? Oh, you just no, we'll just put and up produce more electric. electricity for everybody. We'll That's just put up a huge electric fence that has enough potential in it and a chain link fence that if a snake <laughs> tries to crawl under, they'll fry it. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Ooh. That's pretty odd. <laughs> and they're having trouble with monkeys over there. There's a certain kind of monkey that causes them all kinds of trouble. Well, yeah. with frequency, through one of our other coils, we'll put out a frequency that chases the monkey away. Active denial system. Yeah. Hmm. I've got frequencies like that to keep the bugs and mice out of my house. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> and, I, and I'm using a cat. Wow. Oh, You're way right. cheaper. Ancient technology. Yeah. Cats actually eat. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Well, yep. But well, I'm excited yeah. about this, Larry. This is this is just there's an answer. Exactly what needed to happen. 
I think my next meeting will, will be the proof of the pudding and just cinch the whole deal. Yeah. And when just that morning, you expect it to be? Uh, I don't really know. Just this morning, we went through. Yesterday, I made up a list of 24 things, and that turned into more than 30 things when I discussed it with one of our our members. And he's writing it up to make it pretty, and yeah. sending it off to our financial lady, who will get with the engineer from the project, and tell him that we want a meeting immediately before he even talks to the prince again. Okay. So that once once we get him totally convinced, the mm -hmm. prince has already given him the yes or no on the project. Yeah. But once we get him totally convinced, then he'll just tell the prince, yeah, go this, with it. This is how we're going to do it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Prince don't care. He just wants to see the numbers. Yeah, he just wants to make money, return of income, rate of, yeah. in, rate of increase. Yeah. He wants to see viability and what's my return. Yeah. So um, if the advisor understands what you're talking about. Oh, he go. does. Then, yeah. He does. He got it He got it to start with. This is a really smart guy. Explains why you're so excited. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, it's uh, nice I, to work I'm with looking forward to working to. with this man. Yeah, it's nice to work yeah. with somebody. You don't have to tear down all their beliefs. Just to get them to yeah. understand you. Yeah. Yeah, you're just waiting to close the deal. Uh, when the bell through. goes off, they'll probably yeah. be hearing it in Sweden. I'm hoping for another solar flare. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That'll, that'll lock it up. Yeah, it will. Oh, because it just... Uh, it just it flares just a with solar yeah. what, it, Every bit of electronic gear that he's got running it goes away. It yep. dies. That is permanent. You get this done yesterday. Yep. <laughs> All the magic smoke comes out of it. Yeah. Wow. Well, Once you release yeah. the magnetic smoke out of an electronic component, it no longer works. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I w I'm looking forward to the conclusion of this episode of... <laughs> Dropping a coil. Huh. <laughs> it's going to be exciting. Yeah. More well, um, and, and the show is very dropping a coil ish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. It I was fun. fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we're, we're, just, it. we're just glad that it wasn't the Ben and Bright showing up or something. Yeah. It I was hoping he got a phone call and he goes, no, he got bumped. I was thinking that something was going on with my computer because I was talking about the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah, that's what we thought. Oh, yeah. oh shit. Uh, Must not have liked what we were talking about, did it? <laughs> Maybe we're just, just going right. right. Just let it have a time computer. Nobody cares. People that understand don't give a shit. So, yeah. yeah. It's, I think the, uh, the peers are just beaten down beyond beyond repair. So it's that's why you've got to go out of, out of America to, to do it. Yeah. yeah. America's mm -hmm. just way too corrupt. I had to leave America to do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a different do it, though. We were wondering what kind of bribes we were going to have to give to the building inspectors until we decided to make our own proving company. Yeah. <laughs> Cutting out the Independent middle test man. laboratory. Cut out the middle man. Make more money. We well, isn't that ourselves to test our equipment? Isn't that what the CDC and all that alphabet yeah. soup yeah. crap? They all do the same thing. Yeah, if they to can create, do it, your, do it. create your own investigative outside group to investigate you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I do that. Yeah. Called, I get on the regulatory capture. <laughs> Call it SIG, Science Investigation Group. Wow, you're all see, you got it all, all figured, out. figured out, man. Mm -hmm. Well, pretty soon Larry's not going to have time to talk to us. And I know he's going to be all this to be shot important guy and shit. I yeah. I'd like to be out of the country as soon as all this COVID lockdown bullshit happens. Mm. It's over. Uh, probably. Well, after they figure out which guy they're going to put in the White House, then it'll stop. Yeah. 
It, it's every four years they do the same damn thing, just a different version of it, a yeah. different a dilemma. It's always a big problem. Yeah. This yeah. time, it's the world. Yeah. Fuck you. There's right. a new epidemic every four years. Yeah, yeah it's the idiot they're trying to put in the White House. Mm -hmm. ah, ah. An epidemic of psychopaths. That's why we're so popular with people, because we support it. <laughs> hey, what? Anyway. Okay. I think, uh, I think the reason that we're able to get away with this is because they don't have a parliament where we're going. They have a king. Yeah. And the king's little boy tells daddy what he wants to do, and daddy says, okay. Yep. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> You're giving away the uh, the secret ending there. <laughs> I just well, think that's the way it works out. Yeah. Right, because the truth of what we've been taught is the king is the bad guy and the, the president is the good guy. And the way it really works is when you've got a, a kingdom, it's a lot less people to bullshit. <laughs> so yeah. you're... You're getting less bullshit rather than more bullshit. Unless the population's huge, like in the UK. Yeah. Then it's the same thing. Yeah. As a president, they can lie to you. I'd rather have a benevolent king than what we have now. Yeah. Yeah, come to Denmark. Of the country. Well, they're not real big about bringing their population up here, though. So. Mm -hmm. One of our members is from Denmark. <laughs> Ooh, cool. Out of, out of Copenhagen? I don't, don't really know now. where he's at. He lives oh. in a small town. Really? Yeah. Uh -huh. so he might be your neighbor. Well, he there's lots of universities in Denmark. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to put a lot of them out of business, too. But not these. It's in the wrong stuff. Well, yeah. But you know the Danish program is different, though. They pay yeah. the student, so... I don't know if they're getting a different for a source of information or not, but they well, seem to be more comfortable people. The the problem with the information is that most textbooks come from America. Most <laughs> textbooks what? are written in English. That's why all the people around the world speak English because that's what they had to learn to go to school. Oh no. Oh wow. Well that explains a lot. Yeah. Dog Latin to, uh, you know, dull the mind. Because mm -hmm. <clears throat> English, you can tell a tale in English. <laughs> yep. Want to buy a bridge? <laughs> <laughs> what, <That's>, which one? <laughs> that's not what we're doing. We have a real thing. Mm. Right, but we're from a culture that lives on promises and we're gonna's, but never yeah. happens. Yeah. And they yeah. just. Every fucking year it gets worse. They just adjust to the shit they got to do to survive it instead of fixing it. No, fixing it, that would require thinking. Promise but every different group exactly what they want so they'll elect you, and then when you get elected, do whatever the hell you want to do. Bend them over a table and do the two things. Ah. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so I, 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 you guys got to stop this. <laughs> killing me here. We're catering to greed. Yeah, well, if you can make it work in a good, positive way in the end, it would be worth it. Yeah. yeah. It'll reward everyone in their country. Well, then it'll, do reward, it. it'll reward every country that we go to and do this for. And once this country gets set up, or at least this area gets set up, other places will see it and want to be the same. Well, okay. Yeah, it's not your fault America refuses to use progress. Right. That is not, we can't hold that against you. But who do we hold it against? Uh, maybe people don't even know that's the reality of it. Hmm? 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 Most people don't. Hmm. Maybe they believe we've got the best of the best of the best. What are you talking about, mister? Are you talking bad about my country? Because they don't understand what not being allowed to progress means they just live no they think we got well they got phones that have more computing powers and, and <laughs> you know. then you know anyway I, 
They think not a conversation for me, people. They no, think no, this no. is it. It's you know, and we've been stagnant for a hundred years. People don't even know it. I do. Well, I found out for two thousand years. That. Well, yeah, yeah. The, the Romans used steam power two thousand years ago, and we're still in the atomic age. We're still using atoms now to heat up the water to make steam to turn the turbines. We hadn't gotten out of the steam age. <laughs> Ain't that something? No. <laughs> it's actually, it's not. I kind of expect it. It's kind of sad. It really is. Well, uh, well you have to see it puts a, a small guy like me on a big pedestal looking down on all the smart people. And they don't like it. They call me names when I tell them they're a bunch of pussies. They need to grow up. Yep. What? You're afraid. You're afraid of changing shit. So you're going to suffer with what you have instead of taking a chance that maybe over there things are better or this other way is uh, a better way to do something. Same thing. Mine was traveling. Theirs was, I'm going to stay right here and load my gun, and if you come try to take my cornflakes, I shoot you. Okay. All we've done is logically created a system that works. But not, uh, yeah, on paper, but not in reality. Uh, so far, we've got three of the coils, the four coils put together. Oh, no, no, I'm talking about the one we're in, Larry. I'm sorry. I'm oh, mentioning it not okay. to today, not to tomorrow. Because I, yeah. I have all the faith that what you've explained to us on the radio over the years, that if it was put to practical application, it would work. And yeah. when you told me, okay, let me look through the notes and find the right line. You said that uh, you can switch the neutral and yeah. what that meant. Okay, well, I wasn't aware that America doesn't allow you to do that so you can't progress. That's the point of doing that, that way. Yeah. Wow, what a game to play. Well, they hold us hostage legally in ways we don't understand so that we can't fight them. Well, switching the neutral takes one of the wires out of the connecting wires on a three-way switch. You don't have to run that third wire there. It saves money. They used to call that a California three-way just because back in the beginning they did it like that out there just to save money. No. Oh. So what's the reasoning behind banning it? Uh, because there's always potential at the fixture, at the light. Uh huh. That means that, that means that you have to turn the circuit off before you work on the light, rather than just turning the switch off. Oh. Uh, there so is, and that's that's the that's the beauty of our whole system. You don't turn the switch off. You don't turn the breaker off. You don't disconnect the power to it. All the capacity uh, systems in our group, all of the all of the power generating portion of it is always there and it's always hot, always ready to do its job. All you got to do is connect the neutral and it works. Okay. That's why we've got to have a ground every so often. We're just connecting the neutral. Right. And when the power needs more energy, it draws it from the negative of the earth to put more electron, to put more electromotive force in the system. Right. It ain't drawing it out of the ether. There ain't no such thing as ether. Ether is the magnetic field, the ambient magnetic field. There ain't no such thing as gravity. Gravity is a static electricity. Traffic is a magnetic force. You're a little bit more positive than the Earth. The Earth is negative. Therefore, you stick to it. Period. Hmm. It's just That's a different concept. Yeah. And we are down to the last minute. Ooh. Keep the faith, folks. This is going to work. Give me some good thoughts out there. You've got some people Help behind me. you, Larry. 
Fantastic. People have, have wished you well here. I know you have several people here and there's other people listening online that uh, that have given you positive words too. So, And Grim will put this out and then you can also put it on your Facebook. So yeah, yeah. It'll get a little bit more attention to it. Yep. Yep. So there you have it, folks. Thanks a lot, Larry and Rob. We've been dropping a coil. Thanks. I really had fun. And we will see you guys next Thursday. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be able to make it. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. All right. Everybody have a good evening.